Sheldon Wellesby and special studio guests mull over the last few sporting days and look forward to up-and-coming fixtures in Sports Week in a few minutes here on Central. Immediately after the break, though, the headlines. They know how to keep the peace in Sparta, Mississippi. They won't do it again! Next time you won't get up! Ow. And the next time I bring this down, it's going to be over your head! He shot me! Shut your mouth! Now you're out of here, I'll kill you! If you threaten to kill anybody, I can put you back in that jug for a considerable time! And there are worse places to be. Tell you, I just can't believe that what we're looking at here is an accident. There are no accidents in the heat of the night. Thursday at 9 on Central. He's quite a guy, Thomas. He can be cool, sophisticated, and silly all at the same time. He has fun with his friends, and he loves the ladies. He's a man who certainly knows how to look different. So watch him Thursdays on Central. Because there's only one Magnum. So, we're doing well. But we're no doing great. What this company needs is some... Um... Ach, you know... Faster van deliveries? More efficient air extractors. No, no, laddie. Company jet? Oh, man, you've seen the TV advert. Ah, uh, excuse me for interrupting. You mean... That's the fella! Enterprise initiative, gentlemen. Marketing, planning, quality. We get an independent expert to smarten up our ideas. And up to two-thirds of the fee paid for by the DTI. Any questions? Will you do that again, Brixie? Oh, no, please. The Enterprise Initiative is open to all types of business. Take it before your competitors do. Phone 0800 500 200 for more information. Well, you can take me and my turban to the cat man do. Too much of fun, you need my vindaloo. But when I see me walkers, I'm my fingers and thumbs, so get your gun. My papa put thumbs on, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead to Funko Wall and make them my day. Two tasty flavors will blow you away. They rattle and roll all over your tongue, so get your gun. Oh, my papa done. Whether it's a Harvey wall banger on your jean mirror, or a screwdriver on his jeans, with logic washing machines, tumble dryers and washer dryers, you think can handle it. And hello! He says I'm over emotional! Hi, darling. Hi, Carol. Hi, Mike. And tell me, she's depressed. Yes, she is. She's very depressed. Did the plumber come, then? What do you think? No, not in that. Oh! Speak to your daughter. The United Arsenal match will not be shown. Instead, Derek Hatton, an in-depth profile. And look, all men are despicable. I'll be in my study. In a badly organized world. Orchard from Midland. Good interest on current account. Automatic savings sweep. Flexible loan facility. All on one simple statement. Excuse me, young lady. Now don't slam the... Mike, how's staying for the weekend? Is that okay? Orchard from Midland. A beautifully organized bank account in a badly organized world. Well, don't you? You do me, You talk to me. I love you very much. Oh, I love you very much. I love you very much. Hi, Annie. Hi. Uh, how are you? Oh, God, you're fine. I... Yes, I'm fine. It's fine. Annie, I... Bye. Dear Annie, did I say fine? What I meant to say was... I love you. He's mean, nasty, cruel and ruthless. Enough endorsement. Don't mention it. So what's the problem? Tuesday nights on Central, this man is nuts. Now, back to Miami Vice. Trust me, I know what I'm doing.
It's 20 past two on Central. Time for the latest headlines now from ITN. There have been renewed calls for a review of rail safety following the fatal rail accident in Glasgow, the third in as many months. Two passengers died in a head-on crash between commuter trains. British Rail has again admitted it was their mistake, and the chairman, Sir Robert Reid, told staff to guard against even the smallest lapse which could result in another disaster. Efforts to clear the short stretch of single track continue through the night. British Rail say there are three possible reasons for the collision near Belgrove Station in Glasgow. Human error, signal failure, or a mechanical fault in one of the two trains. Earlier, the signal system was checked by engineers as well as the points. Rescue services had to treat passengers as they lay injured in the wrecked carriages. This 80-year-old man was trapped for four hours before being freed. All of a sudden, there was an almighty bang, and I was, um, actually, I think I demolished the side of the seat that caught me so fast, you know. And Labour's transport spokesman John Prescott has said that the crash indicates that insufficient resources are being used to prevent such accidents. Prince of Wales has tonight said Europe's decision to stop the use of ozone-destroying chemicals by the year 2000 is 10 years too late. Addressing the International Conference on Ozone Protection, the Prince delivered his strongest criticism yet on the damage to the world's environment. The seas are fast becoming sewers. We make poisons so powerful we don't know where to put them. The rainforests are being turned into deserts. If we can stop the sky turning into a microwave oven, we will still face the prospect of living in a garbage dump. Conservative MPs have cautiously welcomed a report in today's Financial Times saying much of the Channel Tunnel rail link will go underground. The paper says the changes follow a meeting between Mrs Thatcher and senior cabinet ministers. Uh, I personally feel delighted um, that there will be first of all extensive tunnelling and it's certainly not going to be Route 3 and my own constituents aren't going to be affected. In French Guiana, the 29th Ariane rocket has been successfully launched this morning, putting Japanese and European satellites into orbit. The blast off was phoned last week after an industrial dispute went ahead on schedule. That's the news for now. Join me for more later in the morning. In a week which sees the England team fly off for an important fixture in Albania, Elton Wellsby and guests discuss the Sports Week. Are we a second-rate soccer nation? We'll know on Wednesday afternoon, and we take a close look at those who don't want to stay. Second class. class finishing from some of the Division 2 promotion hopefuls. Don Goodman's Albion Sunday Devil. Nobody enjoyed that more than Brian Talbot, the West Brom manager and ex-PFA chairman. He's with us in the studio this morning. A little bit of what the PFA members are missing at the moment. Goals from Italy, Germany, Belgium and Holland. We top class Rugby League 2. Wigan's warning for those standing in their Wembley way. And seconds out at Madison Square Garden, Sal Mambi against Glenwood Brown. Well, it isn't quite non-stop action. As high noon in Albania approaches from the England camp, the thoughts of Brian Robson and his playing colleagues. Surely they think we'll win tomorrow. Or has there, there's no easy game in the World Cup philosophy, cut to them too. And when the soccer stars have convinced us and themselves that it's what happens at two o'clock that counts, there's another view of Albania. This from the topical and forthright Clive Kilsley. More interested in the life of Brian at the top of the second division is Brian Talbot, player manager of West Bromwich Albi. 